Hi, it's Mitz from My Life. Mitz, thank you very much for being here today. I wanted to do a real-time journal with me session in my Hobonichi Tejo. I have several pages that I want to catch up and finish. I also, I don't know if I will have time to work on my travel journal, but uh, there are definitely some pieces in here that I wanted to add. Um, yeah, I'm just noticing these ones I'm going to have to probably take out. My daughter was stamping in here and I think some of the stamps she did it on both sides, uh, which is fine. But I'm going to have to take these ones out uh, from the notebook here. Uh, maybe it'll be like a off the camera type of thing. But let's let's jump into the Hobonichi. I think I have to do a April? Is it April? April or May uh, flip through with you. Um, there's some pages in May that I'm really not sure. I might do a little bit more writing. I definitely need to do something here. I made this into like a pocket. I This is actually from the tray. There um, was a Taco Bell in a food court that we visited and I was very disappointed. <laughs> um, I don't remember the burrito being like that. Um, I don't know, I feel like the quality is not very good lately. Um, but anyways, this was part of the tray and I just kind of ripped off a corner. I added a tape runner to just the edges. So like the corners here, right here and here. And then you can just easily make that into a pocket. So let's see if I have something, a piece of paper. So you can see, you can just make that into a, s a nice little pocket if you want to have a booklet of photos uh, or just anything really. I just thought it was fun. I continue the watercolor splotches here on to the packaging as well, just to kind of um, tie in everything. Uh, but I did want to write about this movie that we watched. I don't know, I might color this in, um, but yes, it's going to be a very chatty, slow, kind of real-time catch-up type of video, like catch-up in my journal type of video. I think if I do a bit of writing, I will kind of fast forward <laughs> those parts um, because I'm sure you don't really want to stick by while I write and journal. So I'm working on, sometimes I don't uh, have anything in particular that I want to write or draw. I will refer to the Hobonichi challenge. I don't know if I, oh yeah, I did print this month, uh, sorry, for the month of May. Um, if you're not sure what the Hobonichi challenge is, it's just a very relaxed, uh, it's not really a challenge, it's more like um, prompts or things if you need, like ideas of what to doodle or draw or take a picture of. So May was most loved, and um, some of the prompts for May are here. So you can see there, I think uh, for the Uniqlo one is my current most loved pouch or purse. Uh, but you can write about anything here. And so sometimes I'll look at my phone and I will see what I did on these like particular days or maybe around in May, um, something that I didn't really document about yet, I'll do that. You might see some quotes that might pop up um, for Tina Turner and her passing. She has a lot of really great, great quotes. So I might uh, stick more in here. I was looking at some of these things that she said and she has so many um, quotes that really touched me. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I think I'll definitely trickle this into these pages as well. I've been still knitting and crocheting. I don't remember exactly what day I finished with the sweater, uh, but since I don't have anything on this page spread, I thought I would stick this in. Although I printed these so that I can stick them in my knitting journal, uh, but my knitting journal is, <laughs> is um, pending right now. It's not really, I haven't really touched it that much, but but yeah, I thought I would put it in here. 
And my daughter's been loving the dandelions and uh, let me draw quickly the dandelions. Her and her friends her and her friends uh, like, I don't know what, what you would call like the white part where the dandelion is kind of finished. Um, so I'm just going to quickly, let's do it on this side. I have the sticker from Bokobondo here, so I think it will be a little bit... Um, just have to make sure that when I watercolor it, I can add something flat here so that it doesn't pool around the edges. Uh, it's just going to be a very simple <laughs> drawing here of the dandelion. And I don't know how I'm going to watercolor that in, but... Yeah, they like blowing the the seeds. So it's now Tsuyu season, meaning like rainy season in Japan or Tokyo area, I should say. And it's very humid. This morning I checked the humidity was over 90, 90 something percent. <laughs> And the summer season is going to start soon, I feel like. It's just raining and humid and very sticky outside. <laughs> um, I want to add some kind of border. I'm going to look through some of Courtney's. I'm not going to show you every... Or actually, I don't want to cut out some of these days. She also has, oh, perfect. She has these paper clusters that she's made and that would be perfect. So I'm just going to grab one and cut it out. Actually, maybe I should rip it out so that I get the ripped effect. I know for the people in the Southern Hemisphere, it's getting cooler and it's getting cold, if I'm not mistaken. Is it autumn or is it winter now, maybe? So I'm, I'm ripping it, um, I'm ripping the image away so that I, f I see the white part. Let me see if this is going to be able to... So instead of ri ripping it this way, I'm ripping it away uh, so that you can see the white paper. Do you notice the, like the, the edge of the white paper? Maybe I'll do it here because it's so you can see the white paper there as opposed to if I rip it towards me. You can probably see the comparison there. So this was when I ripped it, I ripped this image away from me, and this edge is when I ripped the paper uh, towards me. <laughs> I don't know if I'm making sense, but um, I like seeing that kind of paper edge. Oh, that's a good one right here. I like seeing these like edges. And so, uh, yeah, that's why. Sorry, that's right. Um, when I rip the paper, I do it in a way so that I can see that white edge. And so these paper clusters are perfect. I think I'm going to have to... I really wanted to print it out on uh, tracing paper, so I'm going to have to uh, figure out a way to... Because the tracing paper at home, at my home computer doesn't... Uh, my home printer doesn't do... It's not... It's a, My home printer is very, very... Yeah, it's not very good, so I need to figure out a way to be able to do that at work. Uh, let's see, so I wanted to, oh, that's very cute. Let's stick that down. I also want to add some washi tape as well. Yes, yeah, so let me know how you are doing and uh, is the weather okay where you are? I know my family back home is saying um, the air quality is so bad. I don't know about when you're watching this. Um, if it has kind of uh, cleared out, but they were um, they had to cancel recess, and 
I, I just feel so bad f for the people around. Um, of course, people affected by the wildfires as well. So I hope you're okay where you are. Alright, so there's that one and I should probably put it here, but that's okay. It's going to be like a full spread. I don't know if I want to kind of like how the colors are kind of similar. Maybe I'll tip that in. This probably fits in better. And then maybe I'll put this, I'll tip it in or I'll put it in the knitting journal. Maybe I will write dandelion on the side over here. Then I'll stick that in there. I kind of want some color in the back. I usually go for my. Um, if you are a, if you watch my videos, you probably know which markers I'm going to go for. But I'm going to switch things up and try the wild liners instead, and see if there's something that I can kind of swatch. Maybe I'll go for something like a lighter color. And actually, this is probably not that light. <laughs> Maybe something like this and oh that's perfect I don't know if that's showing up on camera but I'm just gonna write little kind of dots but it's light enough that it's not too distracting for me I think I did this on another page as well somewhere uh, in, in the back <laughs> If you want, you can spread them out. And if you want to bring them over over here as well, it's better if you're not um, not too much, but just enough scattered around, just to add some interest to the blank page in the back. I'm kind of being aware of placing the items too close to the spine because it's getting quite chunky. Uh, I know I only have a month, less than a month left to go, uh, but yeah. And eventually, I had to take this out of my cover. Eventually, I'll probably I will probably um, do the I don't know how you would call this. <laughs> Turn the notebook on itself so that you have a more of a flat surface. But just be careful that you don't damage the spine too much. Hobonichi is quite strong in terms of their spines so I think it should be okay but you can see how it gives it a more balanced um, surface as opposed to this one where it's so thick over here and then you have this huge hump you can just grab it somewhere uh, where it's more even and you'll notice me doing that probably a little bit more <laughs> um, hopefully in the future I just want to add a bit more washi tape here just a little something this is the granny stripe throw that I'm currently working on oops let me put this back here and so let's use this marker here so the mild liners if you're new it has a chiseled tip here and then it also has the other side so don't forget to use the other side as well it's just the basic like marker uh, tip and you can also color in your little words and headings if you want to with markers and of course they're used as highlighters but I like to use them often in my uh, Hobonichi and my journaling Uh, I wanted to write granny stripe throw so I'm just going to do very basic writing granny stripe
stripe then you can add a bit onto the like if you wanted the lettering to kind of stand out a little bit more you can add a bit more along the edges on the down stroke Nice. Okay, so I'm going to have to journal about that. Maybe add some stickers in certain spots here and there. Uh, and then this one, I'm not sure. So I'm going to leave this in here. I might feel like tipping it in. I'm not sure yet. So let's move on to, I think this one I'm going to journal um, off camera. And same with this. Uh, I went to see, meet up with Hiroko-san from Bokumondo. And I wonder if I could add some, just a bit of outline. I usually like to outline using the, one of the fine liners, like the black tip, but you can always use your markers as well. And it's less harsh. It's not, um, it gets more soft this way. And then you can add a bit more color as well to the page. She gave me all these wonderful stickers and uh, a whole bunch of inks that I'm very excited to play with. Um, so I'm going to journal about that and here as well. Uh, we started doing bouldering with my kids. I had to look up the difference between bouldering and rock climbing because I wasn't sure. Uh, but yeah, so we started doing bouldering and it's a lot of fun, but it's... Oh, my muscles hurt um, and then at the end of it my hands were very very sore like very raw but it's such a good feeling to move my body and uh, I'm still very sore <laughs> but it's such a nice feeling to know that I'm using different muscles um, especially like in the arms here in my back uh, it's very nice to know that um, yeah anyways and this one is not really related to these days but I think I'm going to just stick it in here anyways uh, Hakone we're going to eat here and Erin Ware um, I was watching her um, video when she was featured in Messy May during the Messy May challenge and she was talking about um, swatching swatches and she used a punch I think it was a hers was a square punch I don't have a square punch but I have this circle one and uh, she would swatch out bits and pieces from her day. I thought that was such a great idea. Instead of having to um, tip in a whole piece of paper, maybe you're not interested in the whole bit of paper. Um, in this instance, it was a pamphlet. And I really didn't want to feel, I feel like I didn't need the whole <laughs> pamphlet. So I just swatched a bit. Um, and so this is, this is inspired by her and just stamped out. Um, a bit from the pamphlet and it's perfect I think it's so fun I think it would be very fun to just collect bits um, from your every everyday life and just do these little swatches I think would be so fun maybe even have like a swatch booklet or something <laughs> um, maybe I'll do this on a different day I don't know because this is all in like one day but I want to stick this one down uh, but I also want to add some stickers. So it's summertime, so this journaling corner that I have here, it's going to get really hot. And I'm hoping that... Um, I'm hoping that my momentum doesn't stop because it's just so hot to sit here. Uh, but we'll see. This one I want to tip in so I can write about the place that we visited. Let's get uh, oh, the washi tape that Connie made. I'm. This is my last roll. I think I. I'm. Yeah, I'm using it sparingly because it's it's such a pretty it's such a pretty washi tape. Um, 
just going to tip that in. Uh, if you're new about journaling, I I'm just going to add a piece of tape. It could be anything adhesive, so it can even be a sticker. Um, I learned this from Courtney Diaz. Uh, she's so creative um, in her journals. She even uses like stickers or anything um, that's sticky and she tips it in. Meaning um, if you stick it in fully, then there's no, the writing space is just here uh, where you tip it in. This whole area of journaling is now available and you can do many, many layers of tip ins as well. Um, but just stick that in there. And this one I tipped in using the clear tape so it kind of sticks up, which is kind of cute, eh? I, I kind of like how that <laughs> turned out. This was in Hakone, so I'm going to write Hakone. I'm just outlining the the heading that I did previously with watercolor because it's a little blob here <laughs> um, if you outline it you can you can add some definition all right so that's uh, yeah I finished just outlining that I added a little small doodle of um, the process of the allergy testing and then I wanted to kind of outline here the pizza that we had. Oh, I don't remember the last time we had pizza, but it was a nice treat for us. And I will most likely just add some uh, pencil crayon to add to that. I like to add color to my doodles, which I haven't really done recently. Like for example here, uh, more specifically, oh I don't think I've got anything to share. Oh this is a good one. So my doodles are very simple, <laughs> they're not realistic or anything like that. Um, and I like to add color just around the edges to kind of have it more pop. So sometimes I don't want to take out my watercolors. I will just use a simple marker and the chisel tip is perfect because it has a nice um, flat edge that you can use to add color. And of course these markers are the mild liners so they're not as uh, vibrant but and then the fun thing with the watercolor is that you can kind of spread it out and uh, make this one I didn't spread out but yeah you can kind of fuzz it out fuzz it out <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense but yeah it just kind of um, you can spread out the watercolor so it's not like a harsh line around um, like I did with here which is okay too but you can see how I pulled the watercolor um, and made it more of um, like a watercolor effect Okay, so let's see what else. Oh, I wanted to add watercolor to this edge, not this one, but that's okay. Let's see if there's a different color. I don't know if this is going to come out because it's quite light. I might have to do like a double. Oh, the sun's out. That's very strange. <laughs> it's like rainy season, but okay. I hope it's not too distracting with a different uh, lighting. So there's that and then um, I'm going to just talk about the air quality and my the sticker is from Sakura Lala. Uh, she, oh, I don't have the sticker set here, um, but she offers the free sticker like the washi type of sticker set um, if you purchase her monthly clear stamp sets. Um, but so I took that from there and then my mother-in-law wanted to go for like a mocha, like a matcha, this is my first time trying this matcha thing uh, where you have to whisk it 
Uh, it was very, very fun and it was very relaxing, to be honest. But in the back of my mind, it's like, I have to go to work. I have to go back to work. And <laughs> there's all this stuff that needs to be done. Um, and then on this day, I wanted to quickly stick in some photos. Uh, my friends and I went to eat Italian. It was so good. Uh, but the photos, I think I will put in my, my journal here. This is the accordion, the food journal that my friends and I are... We decided to visit <laughs> different countries uh, via restaurants uh, within Tokyo. So we try to meet every month uh, and visit various restaurants around, like from around the world and different cuisines from around the world. We started off with Spain and of course the Spanish restaurant was close to Travelers Factory Nakameguro so we had to we had to we of course went to Travelers Factory um, this is probably going to be a oh just quickly yeah so basically it's just a food a food log and uh, this is the accordion so I purchased another accordion notebook so that I can continue because I'm pretty full with this one here uh, so our next stop was Italian food. Um, I'm still very behind with my journaling. This was Kaogoi. This was Japanese food. Um, and then I kept the menu in the ohashi, the chopsticks sleeve. And Korean food. American, I guess, because we went to like a Hawaiian place a lot more catch-up to do um, but when I'm running out of space I think I only have two pages left and I still have a lot more months to document and so I purchased another I don't know if these are available I, I think I purchased two from the get-go um, so that hopefully I can continue with that um, so the photos or like the food photos from that will be in here I've already printed them out they're in here somewhere I also received some lovely sweets from Mirai Cat, and uh, she's kept a box of the Girl Guide cookies from Inky Rocks and just so thankful that uh, I get to enjoy these lovely sweets. I've been munching on them at night, which is not a good thing, but couldn't resist, can't resist. And just some pictures of hydrangeas. I don't know exactly where I want to stick that, but somewhere. And before it gets too long, uh, let's quickly do it because I think I'm going to procrastinate if I don't. I still have this bit from Erin Ware that I printed on tracing paper from the previous uh, printer, but it was out of ink, so it's kind of like, um, it's kind of, it's faded, but in a good way. <laughs> so let's cut out, I think this printable uh, in particular is available on her Etsy, so I will leave her information down below. But yeah, printing on tracing paper is so fun for me because it adds a different type of effect, I feel. You can see it's totally... So that's the tracing paper I stuck on top of the regular printer paper so that it doesn't get jammed. I, I, I have a video of it, of my experience with printing on tracing paper. The, this one is um, specific, is from Daiso. So I'll leave that link down below. But just please be careful when you do this. Um, I don't want it to jam your printer. So, um, so I think I'm gonna add that onto the page. So I think I'm going to finish this spread, this page spread, and then call it, <laughs> call it a day. So I don't want the tape runner to show through, so I'm just going to do the edges here where there's the written border so it doesn't, it's not as noticeable. 
and it's, it's the tracing paper is thin so it should be okay then I'll just kind of write something uh, let's see if I can grab I'm taking the F nib of the, from the Sakura Micron and maybe I'll write Italian a really nice uh, restaurant I'm glad that Esther found it uh, she was looking she said it was just Google Maps but still like it was <laughs> such a nice uh, selection that uh, she decided and so I will journal a little bit about that I will color this in on a different day we released some new rubber stamps so I don't remember the exact day we, we I think it was uh, maybe the 9th but I will maybe stick it in here somewhere. And, oh, I wanted to add some days of the week. Just some happy mail and it's very like delayed. <laughs> I, I apologize to the, I'm very, very sorry to those that are waiting yes i feel very bad for the pimples that are waiting uh, for my letter i tend to s spend like a day uh, whenever i have some time to kind of really sit down and fully appreciate the written letter so that i can respond uh, appropriately uh, wednesday Then this one is Thursday. I don't know if there's anything for Thursday, but Friday here. And I think that's it for today's little kind of creative journal session. <laughs> I hope you were able to kind of relax and sit down together. I'm still very behind. Uh, we went to a different bouldering place there. I started up a new knitting project and it's going by really quickly. Uh, the lovely stickers from Bocomondo. Oh, and um, Junk Journal July is happening again. This is hosted by Me uh, Megan, <laughs> Meg Journals, and uh, in collaboration with Get Messy as well. Uh, I will leave the information. So it's Meg at Meg Journals, and uh, it's the Junk Journal July Challenge. And so I printed that out so I can get started. Um, yeah, still a lot to catch up with and I know I need to film, I think it's April. I feel like I haven't done April, but uh, in May there's still some pages I really want to finish up. I hope you had fun with me. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you. I, I'm just so very thankful that you are here and watching and journaling along or maybe crafting along. I hope you had fun and I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.